Maria Screeley was born on 15 May 1825 in Montevarchi, a beautiful town of Tuscany. The father was called Ireneo, a tailor. Her mother was Serafina, a milliner of hats for ladies of the town, and the sister was called Cesira. The little Maria was not well accepted since her infancy because the father and the mother were expecting another boy. And soon Maria realizes that her mother does not love her as she does to her sister. Then she suffered much. Ireneo and Serafina were concerned about the education of their daughters and were entrusting them with private teachers. Maria emerges for her beauty, intelligence, will, and vivacity. The teachers loved her and she became attached to her. For the lively and jovial character that she has, the family and friends gladly in taking her with them for a walk, the lunches, and the coffee. She was carried and fondled by all. With her father, who loves her very much, she enjoyed. Her mother does not care and willingly gave her to whoever asked. Maria prefers to stay with her mother rather than playing with other kids and go with her to the church on Sunday Masses, praying the Rosary and doing the Stations of the Cross. Maria was sensitive to the sufferings of others. She has much compassion for the poor, and every Saturday she was happy to distribute alms. She always has the thought of their worth and that of the children in seeing the parents who are exhausted by the labor and poverty. She imagined what it would feel if she was in their place. When she took the bread to distribute, she realizes that it wasn't enough for the poor who are in front of her. Then she decreases the prepared pieces and it was enough for everyone. But she was restless and does not find peace till she took another piece and went to give it again. At the age of 10, Maria receives for the first time Jesus in the Eucharist. What joy! What a thrill! Now she wants to be his own. She does not want to offend him, and therefore always learning how to please him. Ten years after, the small Maria discovers that she has another mother in heaven. It is the mother of Jesus, the Virgin Mary. She loves her so much that even the night she dreams of her as she wakes up with this heavenly awareness that her lady is watching over her and protect her. At the age of 15, Maria became seriously ill. The doctors didn't know how to cure her. No medicine was able to cure her too. The parents, the sisters, the uncles, the friends were afflicted because they had a fear of losing her, so they keep praying unceasingly. For two years, she was bedridden. She suffered lots but with joy because she offered her illness for the reparation of the injuries that the mankind did to Jesus. Our Lady and Jesus are her great love. She feels close with them, and that is enough. But here's the miracle. The cousin brought her from Florence the image of Saint Florent, a young martyr. The image rests on her heart, and immediately she recovered her strength. She was healed. So celebrations were held in the house with great joy and amazement. Everyone wishes to see and embrace her. 
and bringing her many gifts. It's the proper day of joy and cheerfulness. The parents drop her to a field to regain strength. Maria loves walking in solitude place. There, between the chirping of birds and the rustling of the trees, she found much peace. But what happens? Maria feels that Jesus wants her to be a nun. It was not easy to tell her father and mother that Jesus wants her in the monastery. Now that even the mother began to love her and at the same time, Cecilia, her sister, was getting married and transferred to Florence. Maria prayed and asked for help from Jesus and her dear mother Mary. Finally, she has got the desired permission to enter the Carmelite convent in Florence. She was happy, but this joy does not last long because she feels that was not the place where Jesus wanted her. One day while praying, she sees in front of her so many young people to be led to God. Jesus does not want her in the monastery, but in her own town, among the people, to educate the girls, especially the poor. Back home, she began to teach. The students increased more and more, 2, 4, 15. Maria loves and educates them with a true love as a mother. She holds them whole day with her. The girls were studying, praying, and learning the embroidery, and at the same time, learning to love and respect the people, animals, and nature. Some of her friends admired her, loved her, and asked to help in her school. You want always to be together with her, to pray and to teach. So it was born the community of the Carmelite sisters. The bishop blesses and encourages them to work for Jesus and with Jesus. Maria Screeley now became Sister Maria Teresa of Jesus. 15th October 1854 she founded the Institute of the Carmelite Sisters. But in her town, there were people who do not welcome the sisters because they help the poor, teaching the girls to read and write, and so there be no longer ignorance to work and to earn money in order to live a better life. At the same time, she teaches them to love for God and neighbor, and respect and justice. Here comes the unfortunate day where the mayor of the town came to the school and sent out the sisters, and they had to leave the habit and return to their families. Mother Maria Teresa was not discouraged because she knows that God wants the institute to be continued, so she moved to Florence and opened a school. The students were numerous, especially in the charity school, which welcomes the poor girls, and in the house as well, she welcomes the orphaned children. Mother Maria Teresa watches lovingly over all. She pays attention to all the needs of her daughters, but above all, she desires to see them growing in love and wisdom. The Sunday is dedicated for the catechism in the parish, long walks and visits to the hospitals to give company to some poor and sick children and bringing them chocolates or toys. 
What a joy, peace, cheerfulness, and love in that house where the sisters and students are estimating and loving each other. How many songs of praise are raised to Jesus in the small chapel. It seems to be in paradise. One day, Mother Maria Teresa gets sick. She understands that it arrives her time to depart to her bride Jesus. To the sisters, she recommends her prayer and the education of youth wherever the Lord sends them. In 14th November, 1889, Mother Maria Teresa flies to heaven. Today, her sisters, still continuing her apostolate in Europe, India, the United States, Canada, Brazil, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Israel, to give love and bring Jesus. Among the children in the school, among the youth, among the sick, among the elderly and to proclaim to all that Jesus loves us and he came into the world to save us and Mary is our mother who will guide us and protect us. Now, Mother Maria Teresa Scrilli is blessed and from heaven she shows us the way that leads to Jesus.